Hello everyone. Today I am starting Northwest Corner Rule. Find the Northwest Corner Rule. Find the IBFS using Northwest Corner Rule. The first problem is given like this. Here, here this one. Three sources, four destinations are there. These elements are cost matrix elements. This is demand supply. If you add all the supply values, thirty plus forty plus fifty is equal to one twenty. If you add all the demand values, thirty-five plus twenty-five plus thirty-two plus twenty-five is equal to one twenty. Sum of supplies is equal to sum of demand. Therefore, the given TP is a balanced TP. These are the cost matrix element from source two to go to source two to destination one. It will take five. Five means that may be. Five rupees or five 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 hundred rupees that may be five thousand rupees whatever depends on the problem. Huh? Cost matrix elements from source. See this element is from th third source to second destination. How much it will take? Nine. Cost matrix cost. Now the given TP is uh, by observing the given problem we can find whether it is balanced or unbalanced. If it is balanced then only we can start directly. If it is unbalanced we have to convert that into the balanced one. And then we have to start. Now the procedure of at least uh, the procedure of north west corner rule. Now just observe this complete um, um, uh, block. According uh, according to this block, this corner is called north west corner. Go to the north west corner. Put one box like this. Now see the corresponding supply and corresponding demand. Corresponding demand and corresponding supply. Here thirty is there. Here thirty five is there. Out of thirty and thirty five, which one is minimum? Thirty is minimum. Put thirty here. And thirty we used here. Thirty cancel zero. And thirty we use remaining is five. Now according to this box. This is the northwest corner cell. Go to the northwest corner cell and put one right side one box. In that box, see the corresponding demand, corresponding supply, thirty and thirty five. Out of thirty and thirty five, which one is minimum? Thirty is minimum. That's why put thirty here. Thirty we used remaining zero. Thirty we used remaining is five. Now wherever you get zero. You wherever in that row or any column or any row, wherever you get zero, remove the, just omit that, uh, omit that uh, uh, row. Uh, if you get uh, see, if you omit the first row, how much you'll get? Five, eleven, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, thirteen. In the first row, we have got zero. That's why I'm omitting the first row. Now demand is equal to here forty, here fifty, here five, twenty-eight, thirty-two, twenty-five. Now, <clears throat> now according to this box, this is the northwest corner. This is put one box here northwest. Go to the northwest corner cell and put one box here right side. Now see the corresponding supply and some corresponding demand. Now out of forty and five here forty is their supply demand is there. demand demand is there. this is supply forty and five out of forty and five which one is minimum five is the minimum cancel five we used five cancel five zero we used five the remaining is thirty five wherever zero you get omit that uh, uh, column here zero I have got that's why I am omitting the first column. Thirty-five, fifty, here twenty-eight, thirty-two, twenty-five. Now, according to this box, this is the northwest corner. Put one box. Go to the northwest corner and put one box uh, right side. And uh, see the corresponding supply and corresponding demand. Here twenty-eight. Here thirty-five is there. Here twenty-eight is there. The um, out of twenty-five and thirty-eight and twenty-eight and thirty-five. Which one is minimum? Twenty-eight is the minimum. We used twenty-five zero. We used twenty-eight here. The remaining is uh, seven. Wherever zero you get, uh, just omit nine, seven, seven, thirteen. Now to this box, um, seven fifty, thirty-two twenty-five. 
this is the northwest corner go to the northwest corner see the corresponding supply and demand supply uh, demand is uh, supply is 7 demand is 32 most minimum the minimum is 32 7 out of 7 and 32 minimum is 7 7 we used 0 7 we used that's why 25 now wherever you get 0 you have to omit that particular row or particular column now here in the first row I am omitting 7 13 here 50 is there here 25 25 if you use 25 here 25 we used 0 if you use 25 here 25 we used 0 25 plus 25 50 we used 0 we used 25 if you see the column 25 we used 0 cancel 0 25 we used here we used that's why 0 25 plus 25 0 now like this we have got all uh, all sides 0 till 0 if you get and uh, till that one you have to do now here number of occupied cell what is mean by occupied cell in any of the box if you get right side uh, another box if you get in any of the uh, box right side another box if you get that is called occupied cell number of occupied cells is equal to how many occupied cells we have got see from the beginning we will count here for the in the first table one in the second table second one third one eleven and fourth one nine and like this one two three four five six <coughs> we have got six to find the number of occupied cell we have one formula m plus n minus one m number of rows plus number of columns minus 1 number of rows is equal to how many rows we have 3 rows number of columns how many are there 4 columns minus 1 3 plus 4 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 now number of occupied cells to find the number of occupied cells we have one formula m plus n minus 1 m plus m number of rows plus number of columns minus 1 3 rows plus 4 columns minus 1 is equal to 6 now here if we count we have got if you get a number of occupied cells is equal to 6 then only our problem is correct. If you get using the formula how much you using the formula if you find we have got 6. If you get a 6 number of occupied cells then only our problem is correct. For suppose if you get 5 number of occupied cells that is wrong. Like that you have to you can check your problem. Number of occupied cells we got we got 6 occupied cells now how to write the answer the, the total uh, to, total cost of transportation is equal to see in the first table 6 near 6 occupied cell we have got 6 into 30 6 into 30 plus in the second table occupied cell here we have got 5 into 5 5 into 5 in the third table we have got occupied cell 11 into 28 in the fourth table 9 into 7 in the above 7 into 25 plus 13 into 25 like this we have got if you multiply all the values and simplify you will get the answer how much you'll get if you simplify i'm simplifying just wait i will tell you This is total cost, total cost. That's why in terms of rupees only you will get. The answer is always in terms of 
rupees.